Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday launched a massive exercise of the country's nuclear forces featuring missile launches in a simulation of a retaliatory strike, as he continued to flex the country's nuclear muscle amid spiraling tensions with the West over Ukraine. Defense Minister Andrei Belusov reported that the exercise is intended to practice strategic offensive forces launching a massive nuclear strike in response to a nuclear strike by the enemy. As part of Tuesday's drills, the military test-fired a Yars intercontinental ballistic missile from the Plisetsk launch pad at the Kara testing range on the Kamchatka Peninsula, the defense ministry said. The Novomoskovsk and Nyaz Oleg nuclear submarines test-fired ICBMs from the Barents Sea and the Sea of Okhotsk, while nuclear-capable 295 strategic bombers carried out practice launches of long-range cruise missiles. The ministry said that all the missiles reached their designated targets. Last month, the Russian leader warned the US and NATO allies that allowing Ukraine to use Western-supplied longer-range weapons for strikes deep inside Russia would put NATO at war with his country. He reinforced the message by announcing a new version of the nuclear doctrine that considers a conventional attack on Russia by a non-nuclear nation that is supported by a nuclear power to be a joint attack on his country, a clear warning to the US and other allies of Kiev. Putin also declared that the revised document envisages possible nuclear weapons use in case of a massive air attack, holding the door open to a potential nuclear response to any aerial assault, an ambiguity intended to deter the West. Боевая тревога, ракетная атака, ракетная атака, ракетная атака. Есть КП-26. Есть КП-25. До старта 10, 9, 8. 3, 2, 1, 0. Есть старт ракеты. Есть старт ракеты по ракетной шахте номер 8. The United States will not impose new restrictions on Ukraine's use of U.S. weapons if North Korea joins the war with Russia, Pentagon announced on Monday. Our concern is growing that Russia intends to use these servicemen for combat or to support operations against Ukrainian forces in the Kursk region, Pentagon spokeswoman Sabrina Singh told media representatives. Earlier today, NATO chief Mark Ruta said that North Korean soldiers assisting Moscow have been deployed to Russia's Kursk that is partly controlled by Ukrainians' troops. I can confirm that North Korean troops have been sent to Russia and that North Korean military units have been deployed to the Kursk region, Ruta told reporters. North Korean troops' involvement in the war in Ukraine marks an important escalation of the conflict and has alarmed Ukraine and its Western allies. Last week, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said, with reference to Ukrainian intelligence, that North Korean troops would soon be involved in fighting and urged international pressure on Kremlin and Pyongyang. According to information from Seoul and Kiev, North Korea is sending up to 10,000 troops to Moscow.
difficult situation on the east because they have a lot of people, a lot of people really, I mean Russians, and they don't think for them it's, it's not people, I mean that, so they push them and uh, a lot of Russians are killed each day. So last my connection with the general was today morning and uh, yesterday, for example, Russian they lost only on on this on the east direction they lost uh, 800 people been killed. So they don't think about it. We have to think. That's why it's not simple. That's why we think first of all about people and then about the land. Thank you so much. No, thank you very much. Best of Russia and North Korea's Treaty on Strategic Partnership does not violate international law, Russia's Sergei Lavrov stressed on Monday. The treaty is not secret, it is open. The entire text has been published. It does not in any way violate any provisions of international law, because it assumes, among other things, the provision of assistance to each other in case one of the countries participating in the treaty is attacked militarily, Lavrov said. Russia's position in terms of relations with North Korea is absolutely honest and open, Lavrov added during a news conference with his Kuwaiti counterpart Abdullah Ali al Yehya. North Korea said Tuesday its top diplomat is visiting Russia, in another sign of their deepening relations as rival South Korea and Western nations say the North has sent thousands of troops to support Russia's military operation in Ukraine. The US said North Korea has sent about 10,000 troops to Russia, who are expected to arrive in battlefields in Ukraine within the next several weeks. Что касается наших отношений с Корейской Народно-Демократической Республикой, то мы уже не раз говорили, что договор не является секретным, он является открытым, весь текст опубликован, и он ни в коей мере не нарушает никакие положения международного права, потому что предполагает, среди прочего, оказание содействия друг другу в случае, если на одну из стран участниц договора будет совершено военное нападение. Так что здесь наша позиция абсолютно честна, открыта. Парламентские выборы, на них побеждает партия «Грузинская мечта».